question is, Lamat is sort of seen as much like the entire cast of American Graffiti. Oh, this is going to be the next wave. Right? Right, right. And the number of stars who come out of American Graffiti and spin in different directions where you get like Harrison Ford becomes the biggest guy in the world. Right. Ron Howard, Charles Martin Smith continue to have acting careers but very quickly transition to being incredibly successful directors. Mm-hmm. Uh, then you have Richard Dreyfus goes on to have this like triumphant run. Of course. For like seven years that ends in him winning an Oscar. Wolfman Jack. Wolfman Jack becomes the greatest <laughs> DJ of all time. <laughs> <laughs> but then you even have like Suzanne Summers. Yeah, Candy Clark. Mackenzie gets her Phillips. Oscar nomination for this Mackenzie Ooh. Phillips. Like people going on to sitcoms right. and things like that. And Lamatt is kind of the one guy in the top ten – of American Graffiti who, like, doesn't have the big career. But he does have somewhat of a career at this point. He's going to be in Melvin and Howard. Which is, that's the big Demi thing movie. that Demi sort of, like, yeah. claims him and gives him his best post-American Graffiti part. Yeah. But if you look at him now, he is now a guy who does weird YouTube videos. Yeah, he hasn't done a, a movie, essentially, for 15 years. Uh, do a li- I stumbled onto the YouTube Thank videos you. just Googling for him. He has got a beard... Uh, of such uh, volume <laughs> that I just assumed every video was a manifesto oh my God. of yep. some sort. It's a powerful it's, it's, oh my statement God, of a beard. It's so large. It is a Randy Quaid adjacent uh, <laughs> is, look. Is, is, is he talking about like Randy Quaid thing? Like is it conspiratorial? He's, no, he's just plugging his books. Yeah, that's what's weird he about He writes it. a lot of books. Right, he just, just seems very normal. He's doing the sort of like sort of grandpa YouTube angle where the camera's kind of like right. pointing. He has a poster of memoirs of a geisha in his room? I, yeah. Yeah. All right. He's sort of a... He's, 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 got, he's got one of Titanic, too. He's missing... He, oh, he does. You're right. He's, he's missing a bunch of teeth. He's missing a bunch of teeth. He's got... This is brutal. He's got like a beard that's longer than my entire body. <laughs> yeah. And he's like bald but with like crazy hair on the sides. Yeah, he's got a little on top but he has so much on the chin. Right. He looks like a hobo wizard. Let's say it. Yeah, he looks like, um, you know, Moon Vest from 30 Rock. Yes. Like, that's who he looks like. <laughs> right. Or Radio Man from <laughs> well, Real that's, Life. That's the same person. I know. Okay. I was making a joke. God, Justin, he doesn't get it. <laughs> uh, that's what I'm picking up on. I got to just get yeah. in the brother game. Is that the answer? Do brothers get that's jokes? the secret. Just record with your family. Brothers get jokes. Um, the point is, it's weird that, yes, when you look at the thumbnails and the amount of videos he has, you assume that they're all manifestos or they're all like QAnon shit. Right. You would assume this is a guy who's about to tell you why he's like drinking, you know, poison to go on a comet or whatever. Or like right? telling yeah. like right. dark stories about other people in Hollywood. And right. Instead, where he's like, eh. look, at, look at this guy. Instead, they're all kind of this nice. This is good content, David. Give videos. him a podcast. He should have a podcast. Okay. Well, these people can watch these videos. Take it to the Lamat. He has a James Dean standee, like a cardboard standee. Hey, he loves the movies! <laughs> What's the other poster? It just seems like it's like a glamour shot of like Marilyn Monroe. Why is it not okay for poor... <laughs> no, he can <laughs> have him! I'm just uh, intrigued! Have, no, 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 David. I, listen, Will's dead. There, you can't kick Will Seltzer on anymore, but let's move on to Paul Lamat. Why is it not okay for this man to have... This man who is in a fil- the film industry to have posters of movies that he enjoyed? Like, what well, so to be cool? clear, he loves he has, work. He has two posters up. Titanic, great movie. Uh-huh. Memoirs of a Geisha, bit of a curveball, but okay. <laughs> then he has the James Dean cardboard standee that's yeah. just kind of leaning against the wall. Yeah. And a framed picture of Marilyn Monroe. He loves the Looks movies. like he's got like an HP laptop that's just open. Like he's talking to a separate laptop. David, what is the Mount oh, Rushmore? Oh, he's got an Elvis Presley pillow. What is the Mount Rushmore of film? Titanic. Geisha. <laughs> James Dean. James Dean movies. Right. If you were to carve into laptops. a rock side, the Mount Rushmore films, it would be the ship, the Titanic. Right. Marilyn Monroe's dress blowing up. Yeah. Just Geishas. the sort of. Right. The, the, a geisha with right. like an umbrella carved out of the rock. Right. I mean, the third face is five geishas. <laughs> Full body. And then maybe like a sad L.A. apartment. <laughs> Yeah, with like blinds, you know, those sort of like, you know. The, uh, I anyway. like that. I don't want to mock him. I'm literally nice. just fascinated. Well, I can't hear what he's saying, so that's an issue. But it was like a relief. I mean, Justin, you felt the same way where you right. were like, he's going to say some really upsetting shit. Right. Yeah, 100%. I didn't even have to click on it to know that. <laughs> I knew for sure. But then- he has one. He has a, guys, he has a film. His, according to IMDb, his last film was in 2009 yes. and it was a movie called Chrome Angels which is weird 
for for in the context of Citizen. Sort Kane, of a, a right, a, a sister. Perhaps there, there is a character named Chromangel in this film. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it's very strange. Uh, his it, and he has one film called Eli Elder in pre-production. Oh. Can we please move the pre along <laughs> on this flick? Because I've seen the beard, and that's going to be a powerful performance. Let's get this going. You are asking that we add Eli Elder to the blank check. He's playing slate. Eli in this. That we that we acquire the rights to the film. Right. I think we can yes. do the that. The poster is what I can only describe as like a sort of bitmap of <laughs> Paul Lamatt's face. And then someone has like put a word art sheriff star in the R of the elder. Very good. Yeah. Yes. I mean, he looks great. That is it, vaporwave, it was, David. It is. It's vaporwave <laughs> defined. It was really it's, hard to watch. The first I, movie I that goes straight IMDb. to free cell. 